Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will teach you and share with you how to complete the quest of the Dragon Ball, the Yellow Rock Squire. Just in me, there are two mini quests in this main quest. You will meet few secret bosses. How to get new spells, vessels, and really tons of collectibles. So let's jump right in. Firstly, near Rockrest Flat, you're gonna find this Drunken Ball. He's going to say that he's still drunken and he needs something like to sober him up. On high. Who defies death neath every sky? Next, you're going to go to Squall Hideout. Follow this buff. Be careful, there's a monster. You need to defeat this monster first. This monster will come back to life, so you attack it again. Then you're going to meet a man in stone. He is going to tell you that he got trapped in a stone and he needs your help to go to a cave and defeat some monsters. This is actually a quest, so you need to go help him. Then you're going to travel back to Rockrest Flat because that's his nearest shrine to go to a cave. Once you reach Rockrest Flat, you're going to go up a cave. There's an annoying monster you need to beat first. Then we're going to go up, just follow this path. So over here, you're going to fight two annoying monsters. Yep. One is coming. It's going to be a bit challenging, so use whatever spells you have uh, to just defeat them. Then just collect the spirit and go back to the nearest shrine to refill back your energy, your health, and even your mana. Start back from the shrine and go back up the cave. Beat this annoying monster again. Over here you can see a monster, but when you go close it doesn't jump up. It only jumps up when you attack the Mother of Stones. So while attacking the Mother of Stones, the monsters will keep on coming up. So in between you need to fight these monsters then and you need to finish off the Mother of Stones again. Link in the description if you want to see the full Mother of Stones. Boss fight. So after you defeat the Mother of Stones, you will get Stones of Essence. This will be given to the man in the stone. So once you defeat the Mother of Stones, you go back to Squall Hideout and meet the man in stone again. Don't worry about the monster ahead, you have already destroyed his creator. Meet the man in stones and be prepared for a fight. I actually got tricked, but it's okay, I'll take my revenge. If you want to view the full boss fight of man in stone, link in the description below. Oh, 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 you got me scooped! Oh, oh, mercy! 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 Once you defeated him, 
go up to him and you are able to get a zero dust. This enables you to transform into a rock guy. You can actually buy more stuffs from the man in stone, but he will tell you to come back again. So we just go back to the shrine and come back to meet him up again. So back at Squall Hideout, meet the man in stone again. Uh, this time you will be able to buy lots of. That's all about this quest in this video. Thanks for watching and do remember to subscribe. See you again. This sobering stone is the main importance for the drunken boar. Then you need to travel back to Rock Rest Flat and meet the boar again because you need to give him the sobering stone. The drunken boar is gonna be sober, but then he's gonna feel hungry. So he tells you to meet at the Crouching Tiger Temple. So you're gonna meet him there. My belly. At the temple entrance, follow this path to meet the boar. Talk to him and oh, exhaust all his message. You're gonna give him a jade lotus. Hope you have it, Help or if not, you can find it at the around the start of chapter two game uh, near the river. It's mostly lying around in the map, so you might lotus. have one in your inventory. Here, the realm of gold then he's gonna tell you a story sets. where two brothers promise there, him a piece of gold. Okay, so these two brothers are actually others. the Prince of Flowing Sands mm. and the and King somehow, of Flowing Sands where you, after it. you defeated them, you will get mm. a piece of gold. I so that is a piece of gold that he is looking for. Its people are not uh, so what you're gonna do next is you're gonna travel gold. back to Rock Rest Flat and you're gonna meet him back at the place where he was drunk. Start back at Rock S Flat Shrine. Follow this path to go meet the ball again. This time be prepared, this boy is gonna fight you because he found out that you possess the piece of gold. Again, if you want to see the full boss fight of Duncan Ball, link in the description below. So after defeating him, he will lead you through a door. You will get a snog mask. The boy will invite you to another area where there are secrets hidden and explore for goals and artifacts. So just follow him through the door. After you follow him through the door, he will share with you about a story of a realm where it's filled with lots of gold and there's a legendary beetle. And expected you will need to fight this beetle. Just continue watching the video. You will arrive at a secret location. There'll be a shrine nearby, you can go there to rest for a while. This shrine is called Sand Gate Pass. After which you have to fight a secret boss. This secret boss is also called Tiger Vanguard. Not to worry, this boss is actually quite easy to beat. I actually beat him the first time round. Link in description below for the full boss fight. So after defeating him, he will give you a hero called Tiger Tally. Then after that, he will lead you to meet his boss, his master, so it's fierce, who is work. on a mission. He so you have to help his boss accomplish the mission. Brave soul, why not use this might to aid my king's good deed? Follow this path to go to the nearest shrine. And look around here later because there are lots of collectibles and items for you that you can take. This shrine is called Sand Gate Bound. Go towards this NPC, he will give you a mission. The mission is to fight the last secret boss you in this Vanguard. quest. Then you do indeed have so after meeting him, he will call or summon the beetle. And you have to fight this beetle. This is the last secret boss and yep, that's about it. Not to worry, uh, it's easy to beat. 
I beat it the first time round so I believe you can also win this boss too. Enjoy the rest of the video and if you like this video give me a like and if you find this video very useful please subscribe to my channel so I can create more videos for you. Once again link in the description below for the full boss fight of Fuban. On the folk's behalf, I thank you. Don't forget to go back to the desert where you can explore and you can find collectibles and crafting materials. See you again soon.